All right, so for our next process, we would like to try latent Dirac clay allocation, LDA. So let's give that a try. I'll bring that in right here. And this is a good one to read a little bit about the component information before we dive in. So latent Dirac clay is uh, based on a mathematical approach created, I'm gonna look this guy up. By this uh, German mathematician way back in the 1800s. So uh, the mathematical approach was built or was created way back then and is used in a lot of areas, but just recently, uh, I guess uh, early 2000s really, or was adopted in a text analysis domain as a, a way to do what we call topic modeling. And so late Dirac clay allocation uses an approach to, uh, instead of create a feature for every single word or, and or engram, it analyzes the documents and tries to identify topics that are related to the documents. And then for each document assigns a score for each topic that indicates how much that topic exists in this particular document. So LDA, all of the uh, rates for all the topics for a single document should add up to one. So I've got 20% of this topic, 40% of this topic, and another 40% uh, of the third topic would give me my 100% for a document. Now, the downside of uh, LDA is we have to specify how many topics we have. So there can be some a fair amount of trial and error here before you get a model that works best. So number of topics modeled would be the first thing that you would put in. And then it does give you the ability to uh, topic model your topics based on individual words and n-grams. So your next one would be how big do you want n to be for your n-gram analysis? Of course, each of those numbers, the bigger they get, the more complex the processing becomes. So that's something to consider. Uh, normalize is set to true by default as it works its way through. And then right now, we're seeing a simplified set of options. We can actually show all the options here that give us many more capabilities for customizing how we do the LDA. So there are lots of approaches to that. We won't get into all the details of them for this class, but uh, certainly if you decide to specialize in text analytics, that would be something you'd want to do. All right. Um, build a dictionary, the dictionary of the engrams. So that's never a bad idea. So we'll go ahead and take that. It does add a little bit of time to your processing, but not a ton. And then the maximum size of the engram dictionary. Um, well, we saw we blasted out 20,000 with our two extract engrams. So let's bump this up to 75,000 and uh, see how that works. All right, so we'll start with five topics. Let's move engrams up to three. Now, LDA does give me the ability to include more than one column name. So in this case, I will um, go back to my example here and just double check what my column names are. So I've got pre-processed responsibilities, minimum qualifications, and preferred qualifications. And of course, I had qualifications on my mind, so I'm going to have to change this one. It's pre-processed responsibilities.
All right, so I can save that and we'll leave everything else as is and run this pipeline and see what we get. All right, we've run our LDA and we look at the data that we get. We have a transformed data set. We also have a feature topic matrix. Uh, the LDA transformation won't be all that informative to us. It basically gives us a list of uh, files that are programs telling, basically machine instructions telling uh, Azure ML how the transformation works. We'll take, we can take a quick look at it. All right, so we'll look at the, uh, all three of these, transform data set, feature topic matrix, and the transformation itself. All right, so you see here, there's um, not a whole lot of information there for us. If I look at the featured topic matrix, then we can take a look at all of our words and engrams and see how they load into each of our topics that we have identified. So AA, barely loads into topic one, but it even less barely loads into the other topics. So we would say AA belongs to topic one. Uh, ability adjust, let's see what we've got there, 0.09, uh, topic two. So again, you can see some of these uh, may not be all that uh, informative for a particular topic, but we'll have some that are quite informative. The other data set we output we get is the transformed data set. So here you can see for each line, each document, and we used responsibilities and preferred qualifications, all of the pre-processed versions of those, we can see how each one loads into each topic. So this first document loads into uh, topic two and topic four, uh, topic four most highly, topic two second most. So we would say it's mostly topic four, a little bit of topic two and not much of the other ones. Uh, this next one loads into topic two at 0.99 and all the rest very low. So topics one through five should add up to one. Here we have 0.996 for topic two. This next one loads almost entirely into topic three. So you can see in many cases, we load very heavily into one topic, but in the case of this one, there's a pretty good split between topics. So we can run this again and try it with seven topics to see what we get. Now, it won't really give us a whole lot of information until we start doing some predictive modeling with it. So we'll hold off for now. But that's LDA. Let's go back to the reading module and see what we'd like to do next.